What's up everyone, welcome back to another One Piece video. So last time that's off in One Piece, the war was starting. Um, LKG went to block Whitebeard's attack, Mihawk swung at Whitebeard, and a lot of their generals and vice admirals and stuff are all fighting, right? So, war is here. Real quick, before I get into the video, I just want to say I do have a Patreon. It'll be the first link in my description I'm about two or three weeks ahead on there. So if you want to see these videos early and uncut, check it out. And without the way, One Piece. Just with a slash of his sword. Not worried at all. Oh. Who's this guy? He's, this guy caught it. What? What? How? I forget, like, the other people are strong as well. It's not just Wiper and the commanders. Well, he might be one of the commanders. Sliced out the, I'll say ocean, but ice who is you man what's the bottom like diamond third division commander jozu why oh, are you putting a sword back you fighting That's right, the other ones aren't even there yet. It's just Whitebeard and his or well, his crew. Damn. Oh, he's in go. Sasuganishiro Okay, talks. Oh, you got a point. You want to end it? Go after the, go after the one in charge. Yeah, I keep saying that his power is insane. Like a star. Oh. Going back for right beard and someone else. Oh, mm. was that Marco? Dude, what? I don't think it hurt him, but he ate that. Let's find out. Dude, oh my god, this is visually it's stunning. It is beautiful. Oh, he's happy. Yep, and blue flame. Oh. The king? Oh. What does he have? Blue flame. <laughs> so fearsome. It's even rarer than Logia? Oh? Mythical creature, he's a zone. Oh, wait. So, it's not a blue. Oh, it's a blue flame, but are they like Phoenix wings or something? Yeah, it's like a phoenix. I said this is the guy who should be, I think, vice captain ish. Marco the Phoenix. Okay. Yeah, they're just kind of going right through him. That's why I assumed he was a low gear the first time, but. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't feel it. Oh. God damn. Dude, Marco's nasty. I said he was, but I didn't think he was like Admiral nasty. <laughs> it Chip him up. Oh. He's gonna throw at him? Is that what he's gonna do? 
Viper, you got one hell of a crew, man. Yeah, just yeet. Oh my god. I thought it was like the top of the layer. He do a block of it. Or is the Admiral gonna do something? He hasn't seen him do anything. I don't even know what kind of power he has. But here he goes. Ooh. Wait, he's like fire? Who would cover them? No, it's like lava or something. Like magma? Is that a fist? It's like nothing. So he's like, well, well, like magma, yeah, right? Lava, magma? Or magma? Oh, is it gonna explode? It's like raining lava. Like meteors coming down, basically. Volcanic rocks, okay. Well, close enough. Oh, he hit one. Oh, one for Whitebeard. Okay. He's blowing it out. Oh, he actually... <laughs> hey, he poked the rock. They already took out one ship though, so I say as of right now, the advantage goes to... Navy side. Blocking everything. They're just playing defense, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get out there and go to sleep. Come on, tough guy. What's up? It is the best of the best. He just wants to run away. Is Kobe? I don't think Kobe's gonna run. It's a crazy thing now, right? I'm not going admiral. Think about like what the admirals are. That is a lot. That's basically King of the Pirates in his version. You got a point, but you can't leave. This is where you make a name for yourself on this battlefield right here. The hell is that? That's not a giant. It's like the size of ores. Oh. How do you fight something that big? Oh, you have the Admirals, I guess. They they probably could. The only ones only ones that probably can. Maybe Warlords as well. That's not even a giant, that's a planet. It's taking out all the, the warships and uh, artillery. I mean he looks sick. Oh it talks. Hey, what's up, Ace? Little Orange Jr.? There's a Junior? I even said that he's like Orange size. Well, now I don't know why. Why are the Warlords gonna get involved? Dude, he wants him. Yep. Yeah, don't think I get him. We don't want to go through that again. Nope, oh, call him, um, call him Junior. A nice person? Alright guys, so we finally found out what the third Admiral's power is. We don't know exactly what it is, but we've seen it. I think he has like, it's either like volcanic or like magna. You say magna. Magma or something like that. Um, you know, he went and just punched this giant like ice block that was getting hurled at them. So, like I said, I know the Admirals are all nasty. Like, I knew this third one was nasty, even though I had never even seen a fire do anything. Because they, they're all, they're all nasty, right? So we see, you know, everyone's still fighting and stuff and going back and forth. I will say this, I did not expect Marco to be 
on par with like admirals, at least with Kizaru, because like that guy's power is actually really insane. So he's actually a zone type, which is kind of odd to me. He's like a mythical one, so he turns like a like a phoenix. So he had like these blue flames. He looks sick, and you know he blocked all the attacks that um Kizaru launched at Whitebeard, and he even landed like a hit on him to send him flying. Now I don't think he did any damage, but he still managed to push the man back. Like that's something in itself. And towards the end of the episode, we see this behemoth of a giant walking in. I'm like, oh, it's like the size of ores. It's Ors Jr. There's Jr. Ors. And, um, yeah, I know the Admirals could probably fight this guy. I wonder when the Warlords are going to get involved. Because they haven't moved yet, other than Mihawk when he took a, uh, like a slash at Whitebeard. Other than that, we haven't seen the Warlords do anything. So I'm wondering if they're going to get involved at all. And if they do, like, when. Also, um, how far is Luffy away? Because, like, he was, you know, they're by the door. They're close. So I'm wondering when he's going to get here as well. And while all this is going down, Whitebeard is just standing on his ship. So I wonder when he's going to actually just start, like, going on the offensive himself. Because right now, they're on defense. And I didn't mention this. I forgot to mention the the warlord Akinu. I'm not too sure how to say his name. He destroyed one of Whitebeard's ships. So there's only three of Whitebeard's ships left. But all the other ones are starting to get here. Like, all the allies and stuff. So... Again, it's all out war. But that's going to be for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. Sub if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.